Hello and welcome to DNOC 12, the yearly DNOC conference. This year we come to you virtually, uh, unfortunately, as we can't meet all together. Or, as we could say, welcome to the internet, um, as this is basically where all of us has been, have been living for the last months. So, a couple of housekeeping items at the beginning. Uh, we have a very tight agenda for the next one and a half days, so all speakers and in even the Q&A sections would kindly ask you to be on time, be speedy up and ask your questions precisely on time. Uh, for the t-shirts and goodie bags, unfortunately you can't pick them up anywhere this year. Uh, about half of them have already been shipped, the rest will be shipped to you after the conference is over. Uh, the DNR community is an open and inclusive environment. We treat each other with tolerance and respect. Free speech and an open exchange of ideas are encouraged. If you nevertheless feel harassed or threatened in any way, please reach out to the board uh, members at Vorstand at DNOC.de or any person out of the board with the first name at DNOC.de. We highly recommend you to use the social emojis in the live stream at the bottom. Give it a test run right now. If you have any questions, talk to the welcome desk or email us at event at denoc.de. We would like to very much thank our sponsors who allow us to run this conference in this matter. This year's diamond sponsor is Flex Optics. Very much and a big th shout out for them and thank you back to them. Our platinum sponsors, Core Backbone, DKICS and IPHH. And our support sponsors, Zipgate, Alita Networks, Taikotik, Santaro, NLIX, and Exering AG. There is going to be a general meeting of the DNOC Foundation on Tuesday at 5 p.m. It will be in a Zoom room, the invitation will follow. Voting links have already been sent out to you. If you don't have a voting link by now, please contact Malta at DNOC.de. For more information on the General Assembly, go to the DNOC page and click on the Governance button or use the link in here. And you will find all information necessary. We will have a virtual social tonight at 7 p.m. in Venulis. There is going to be a link for you, uh, which is somewhere here on the right side, that says social. Uh, we're going to use the special virtual chat landscape from spatial. Uh, you can find a short introduction on that on the welcome page. If you have more questions or can't, can't find the way, just go to the welcome desk or reach out to us in the help desk chat. So a couple of facts. As of roughly five minutes ago, uh, and I'm sure the number is already wrong again, we had 633 attendees. Out of them, 36 are students. That is the highest attendee rate we've ever had, including live stream numbers and on-person numbers for any DNOC event so far. So we're very happy to have you all. Um, this is a fantastic and exciting event for us to have and to run for you. Please enjoy. Uh, a couple of more facts out of the 633 attendees, 438 were checked in or somewhere at this point. 297 out of those already checked in on Sunday. So we reached roughly half of the people attending the workshop day on Sunday in whatever way. That was a very good success and again confirms to us that with the workshop Sunday we're on the right track and this is something you actually enjoy. 82% of our attendees are out of Germany. 14% out of the EU or UK and 4% and we're very happy to welcome everyone from around the world here as well. So how did we get here? Uh, today is March 254, 2020. This was supposed to be an easy year. We had everything set, the conference was going on the same place. So let's look a bit back on where we went. January 2020. Hamburg was our location. We had a deal with the location setup. We know what we were doing. The location was safe. We had a few optimization pro projects from 2019, but they were already kicked off. There was like plenty of time left. Everyone was happy. March 2020. The location is still safe. 
everyone was wondering if this is going to take a few weeks or a month. Plenty of time left. Everyone is happy. You gotta wash your hands, but ever otherwise, ish-wise, we're all in a good place and happy. April 2020. That is when the first lockdown in Germany started, uh, and we started having first discussions with the location. But overall, after the first meeting, we all agreed. November is still far away. They have plenty of toilet paper, which seems to be the driving issue in Germany in the first phase of the lockdown, so that's fine. We unfortunately had to cancel our RIPE 80 pre-social event due to the given circumstances at the time, but otherwise, plenty of time left. Everyone's still happy, kind of-ish. May came. Everyone in lockdown. We couldn't leave the house anymore. We couldn't have an in-person meeting with a location anymore with any of our vendors. So where is this going at any point? The discussions with the locations became more and more serious. But still, November is far away, toilet paper seems to be still okay. We started having a plan B, discussing with venueless planning and, and kind of looked into, okay, how could we do this virtually if we would have to? But plenty of time left. We should wait. Dinoc is in November. Let's wait as long as possible to cancel. And let's try to be the only in-person conference we saw at that point in the year. Maybe we can bring everyone back together in the community at that point. The summer went, August came, we had another discussion with the location. And the clear message was this is going to be most likely limited to maximum 60 people until the end of the year. So at this point we decided plan B now becomes plan A. In venueless, we believe. Plenty of time left. We announced to go virtual, but besides that, we're fine. October came. COVID-19 rates in Germany went up again. So instead of having plan A, which was already the original plan B, we had to go with plan A, B, C, D, and I honestly believe we had E and F as well. So, and the theoretical question of how could we produce this potentially in full lockdown if no one of us has, uh, can leave their house at all? After a couple of decisions and rounds of discussions with plenty of other partners that we've worked over the years, the decision was made to go do it yourself with video production and streaming as well because we couldn't actually find what we were looking for in the same way to transport our vision of a virtual conference online. One month left, everything is going fine. No problems, everyone happy. A bit later in October, partial lockdown was announced for the 2nd of November 2020. So that's the point where we started to worry. Where will this go? How can we make this happen? And what is the impact on us of that? So we very much looked into detail in what can we actually do so plan e, plan e came up. We drastically reduced, uh, reduced the number of people in the production streaming office here in Munich. Um, we had to adjust to what the office was allowing us to do. We have a health and safety concept. And how many people do we actually need on site? And once again, what do we do if we go in full, lock uh, full lockdown? So no one was really happy at this point, to be honest. Uh, and remember, less than a month left. November 2020 came, goodie bags. 290 times three stickers, 290 t-shirts, 290 agenda cards, 290 community bags. So we shipped 290 goodie bags uh, in a two day action. Um, and I believe my family is very happy that they can have their living room back instead of t-shirts anymore. But then again, 340 bags as of now have to be fulfilled and shipped after the conference. So living room is most likely going to look like this again. To sum up, where did we go in November 2020? Venulas went from zero to what we believe is the leading conference tool in less than seven months. Dinoc Vogue came to life from zero to 90% in less than five months. We're happy again. We would like you to enjoy the conference, stay safe, stay home, uh, and fantastically enjoy the conference. 
And with that, I would like to hand over to Moritz Frenzel, who is the ha chair of our program committee. Moritz, why don't you join me? I'll happily do, Patrick, and welcome all. Yeah, it's it's been a journey, as Patrick mentioned, um, and to say the least, packing 300 packets with Patrick and his family has been fun, but we managed. Uh, it just took us a whole Saturday so far. So, I'm here as chair of the program committee, but I present a lot more people who would have loved to have been here as well. Uh, the program committee consists of Florian from Arista, Kai from Akamai and Bikix, myself, Richard from Grafana, Sebastian from Clue24, another Sebastian from Deutsche K Telekom, Stefan Wahl uh, from AKX Megaport, Theo from Anexia, who will, you will hear in the next talk, Tim from Exaring, who kindly enough let us in his office uh, to produce this show, and Wolfgang from DKIX. So this is an online conference, and uh, as some of you might already feel the same, it is a bit weird to present here. I'm sitting here speaking at least to an audience of two who are actively producing a conference, and I'm at least a bit better prepared than the usual person. I'm speaking to a 4K webcam and I have soft boxes and everything around me, but usually presenting at an online conference means sitting at home and speaking into your laptop. And this just feels like any other conference you have day in, day out at work. So we fully understand that some of you might have already gotten well sick of it. Zoom fatigue is a thing, and even though, and even if it's not Zoom, you can still get fatigued out by online conferences. And this was obviously a concern for us. Uh, we had only 29 submissions. Usually we are in the high 30s uh, or even low 40s uh, when uh, preparing a DNOC uh, by 23 submitters. And we have seven workshop submissions as well. We'll go into a bit more detail about this. So luckily, uh, we had at least still an access of our 23 talk slots and were able to uh, make a selection and take the select uh, the talks that did not uh, meet our criteria um, out of the conference or refrain some talks to workshops. For example, if some of you have listened to the ASIC NPU uh, workshop yesterday or the Netbox workshop, those were initially submitted as talks, uh, but we found that it might be of way more value if the speakers had more than a 30-minute time constraint and a lively Q&A would be possible. So in the end, we only rejected three. And that is a good thing because we could accept many. But obviously, we would also have loved to have a wider selection of talks, even though we're still very happy uh, with all the submissions we have. So all those submissions. The PC went ahead and did 225 reviews, um, commenting on every talk, rating them on a scale from 0 to 10, abstaining, obviously, if you're biased. That's why the numbers uh, don't match up. And a few calls, again, on Zoom, again, fatiguing uh, later. We had a final agenda and published it to our website. Once, once we published the uh, agenda, we were at standing somewhere around at 200-ish uh, registrations for the conference. But now, 600 plus, uh, it seems like some of you were waiting for the agenda. This might uh, be some obvious uh, decision making, but the conference was free. And if we ever do a free conference again, please be so kind and register as early as possible if you want to attend, because you make planning for us a lot easier if we know that three times the amount of people will show up. Uh, yeah, um, but we managed. Everything's great. So workshops, as discussed. Uh, workshops are becoming way more important. Uh, we started with workshops at DNOC 11, um, when we could all meet up in person in Hamburg. And we had, uh, I think, six workshops with a total of 172 registrations. Um, everything went great. The feedback was enormous. Uh, so we hope that DNOC 12 would be a success as well. In the beginning of DNOC, we only had three workshop registrations uh, coming the deadline. And we knew that this would not hold up. We have this checkbox in uh, when you register for a ticket, 
whether you wanted to participate uh, in a workshop or not. And over 200 people had already clicked on that uh, beautiful checkbox. So three workshops versus 200 people didn't seem so fair. So we went out, did some, well, begging. Uh, we went around and asked a lot of uh, our friends at uh, multiple networks, uh, vendors and stuff, uh, to prepare a workshop. And thanks to all of them, we were able to come up with seven individual workshops, uh, one of which uh, ran twice. Thank you again to the guys who ran the uh, DC Fabric Automation Workshop on Sunday twice. Uh, I can only believe how exhausting this must be. Thank you. So uh, DNOC 12, we had 200, let's say 250 registrations uh, for the workshop. And as Patrick mentioned, 300 of you showed up. So uh, please be so kind and register as well. We managed everything great, but you would make us planning a lot easier. We are aware also that the um, ordering process for the tickets uh, could use some improvement, or for the registration for the uh, workshop slots could use some improvement. We had it in our schedule, but then we had to organize a whole new conference and couldn't keep track on that. We hope to improve this next year. So maybe to highlight again why we have workshops and um, what is the difference between a workshop and a talk. Obviously, a workshop is hands-on, a talk is not. But for the conference, for the general concept, we strongly discourage marketing talks and product presentations. For the, um, We do not want someone here standing and presenting their new device with all fancy new features, even though this might be relevant to you, because for everyone else, this may not. DNOC is a single stage conference, for now at least, and uh, we, we don't want to bore 80% for the interest of 20%, um, especially if the conference would be uh, taking place uh, physically and rather than virtually. So we came up with the workshops, and the idea of workshops is, first off, for all of you to get your hands dirty, to get a deep dive into a technology be it by a vendor, be it open source, or be it just a concept. This is all fine, but this is where we want to highlight specific implementations of, I don't know, a data center fabric. Um, and as workshops are opt-in rather than single stage, I think this is the perfect uh, format for it. So if you have something in your mind, a technology you would like to present, a open source software you would like to present, or a product that might be relevant to a uh, wider audience to present, do not hesitate to uh, submit a workshop next year. We're really looking forward to this, and this is becoming a great part of our community as well. So as I've stated obviously a few times before, thank you very much to all our presenters and submitters. Without you, this whole thing would have been meaningless. We could have had a conference here. I could be standing here and uh, explaining things, but no content, no conference. So thanks you. Uh, if you might be interested in participating in a program committee as well, do not hesitate to talk to me on Venulus, just send me a direct message, uh, or reach out directly to Moritz at um, there are also There's also a list of the PC available at pc at lists.dnoc.de. This will also be on the break slides. And you're happy to uh, send us a note if you have any questions, want to join, or do have also some feedback for us. Speaking of feedback, if you are listening to a presentation and like the style the presenter is giving, or maybe have some advice for him on how to improve this presentation, please be so kind and go to pretalks.dnoc.de uh, after the talk has finished and click the feedback button once you've selected a talk. This helps not only us to make a better selection for you, but also helps the presenter to improve their talk. Um, also, this goes for the workshops. So if you have participated in a workshop yesterday, please go ahead and uh, rate and f give feedback to the talks. We will also have a feedback uh, form available on day two. You might be used to it from the conference, but as half of you is new here, uh, we really value your feedback. Last year, we had over 250 feedback, uh, I don't know, feedback forms submitted, and uh, it helped us a lot in improving the conference and would have been even greater if the conference would have taken uh, physically. Then this year, um, we will have heralds. Uh, you've also already met some of us uh, at last year's conference. Um, heralds are here to introduce the speakers and to handle the Q&A during the talk. As Patrick mentioned, Venulas wasn't here um, seven months ago, and so Venulas sadly doesn't yet have a Q&A feature, but they're working on it. And should there be another virtual conference, we're happy uh, to introduce you to it. For now, um, 
our heralds will handle it. So a big thanks to Florian, Franziska, Nicola, Richard, Sebastian, Stefan, and Theo for becoming a herald and volunteering their time uh, to introduce the speakers to you and to handle all the Q&A. So if you have any questions in the chat, please prefix them with Q double dot and then your questions so our heralds have an easier time to understand them and uh, to pass them along to the speakers. And without further ado, um, I will soon hand the conference over to uh, Tim as our herald and Theo as our presenter after our lovely break music. So see you soon. Stay online. It's not necessary to grab a coffee yet. It will only be a one minute quick break until we get everything sorted. Have a great conference. Have a great DNOC. And see you soon. <laughs>